Oh, hello everyone and welcome to Garashi no Kajitsu episode 2 review. I probably butchered that name. And like episode 1, I was kind of surprised with this episode. Um, I, I probably have a reason why it didn't go that way um, this week. Um, like last week, you know, it ended off with um, Yuji getting the, um, a sniper rifle out and then, um, you know... The, the the maid making bombs or something along those lines, but let's just focus on the Yuji thing. I think that was probably shown in the ending credits because I didn't stay for that. I don't recall um, if it even had ending credits. I could be wrong. Um, but um, yeah, I was expecting something over the top to happen, like like the, this episode to be very action packed. But no, actually, and um, I'm kind kind of glad I was wrong. I mean, a lot of people will probably be disappointed. Like I said, um, the reason why I think that something like that was covered in the cuts in in the ending credits, like I said, were because there was something covered within this week's ending credits with um, Sasatsuki. I think I'm not saying the name right. Um, so yeah, um, could be wrong though. But yeah, um, this episode. Focused on um, Mamaki, I think that's her name, the little girl, and um, Sasatsuki, mainly Sasatsuki, I'm probably saying the name wrong, but let's just focus on the um, Mama Mamaki part first. Um, did anyone think of Snow White when um, she, like, you know, she was lying on, on the, uh, the grass with the apple on the chest? I mean, like, when Yuji just said, like, the apple isn't poisonous, I mean, I was just like, you know further leaning towards it, but was that kind of like a, um, what's it called, Easter egg? <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was nice. Um, not many panty shots in this episode, either. I think there was about three, yes, I counted. I think it was two with Mamiko and one with Satsatsuki, but that one was major with Satsuki. <laughs> anyway, um... You could say, um, with, with Yuji and Mamaki's relationship, like those, like obviously it's a brother and sister type relationship because Mamaki, Mamaki calls Yuji Oni-chan. And, um, yeah, that, that, um, like, you know, relationship was, like, easily sprung because, like, she was, like, you know, gonna fall into the, um, uh, pff, lake when she was fishing for the claw, craw, crawfish. Or claw, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's just say craw, yeah, crawfish. I think it was that. But um, you know, uh, Yuji got her, like you know, like, and then they were just like talking about random stuff, like the um, the crawfish, and um, yeah, it was just like, oh, uh, she was. He's just asking like, why are you avoiding me? And then she was just like, I'm not avoiding you. And then he was just like, what's my name then? And she um, responded to it. And she said, like, you know, it was embar it's embarrassing for her to call him by a name. And then he said, okay, call me what you want. And then the only chan I mean, probably some people were expecting that. But uh, me, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting that. I was like, oh, okay. I mean, like, well, fair enough. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, their friendship, um, you know, is tightened, I suppose. Or, like, yeah. It's a, yeah. Because even Amane, I think that I'm saying her name right, Rias Gremrigal. Um, even pointed out on um, how quickly their closeness, um, you know, happened. Yeah, and yeah, with Sasatsuki, she's just out to kill him. And um, yeah, we find out that she was um, at the school when it was originally founded, and then um, uh, the other girls joined in, like you know, uh, however months or well, yeah, let's say months apart. But, yeah, they joined together. And the reason why that um, Sasatsuki is out to kill uh, um, Yuji is because um, I don't think it's because it's a because he's a boy. I mean, that rape comment was just like unnecessary. It was just like, oh my god, really? I mean, like if anything, um, <laughs> it'll be you girls, like you know, with all the penny shots. You're just like you know, swaying the boy. Like, come on, especially a man. Like, just like opening the room last week, and then like you know, just see her naked. Obviously, it was censored, but still. Um, yeah, um, the reason why she wants to kill him is because she can't figure him out. He's a puzzle to her. And, um, yeah, I can't say if, like, it's a good or a bad thing, because, like, she, the reason why she befriended the others so 
uh, not I don't know like how easily of course but let's just say it was easy it's because that she could figure them out but um because of whatever Yuji was like let's just say assassin because like he was obviously leading them toward that especially with the gun um like obviously his past is like you know all jumbled up like even like she said like every time I think I get something I get something else about him that doesn't add up with this part so yeah and then I suppose we met his master, JB. I don't remember a full name. I remember a I suppose nickname. Um, yeah, it was kind. Of, I suppose that this was a cameo for her. I mean, like she didn't come to see him for a job. She came to see him, well, to see how he was selling. So I suppose it was just like a motherly aspect. I mean, like if that. I mean, I suppose something like that would blossom. Could be wrong. But yeah, and then that man, he's just like asking, is that your girlfriend, is that your girlfriend? And I'm just like, oh my god, <laughs> could it be any more obvious? And then to soon the girl was like, you know, spot listening in on the conversation, and then she's just like, it's not like I listen because I don't like you or anything, or something along those lines, and then Yuji just goes, ah, nice actor, soon the girl. <laughs> so yeah, moving on to the Sasatsuki thing. Um, going back to, like, you know, his dorm, uh, she was just saying, like, I was just like, oh my god, is he gonna kill her now? She, rather, she's gonna kill him now, and then, you no, know, she just caught him, her, rather. And, like, this puzzled me. Like, she was afraid of the strength that he put in to the block. Oh, well, it was basically self-defense, I was just like, you're trembling. Um, you're the one that has been, got, has a pocket knife and like trying to kill him for ages I mean like with that face you're pulling you obviously hell bent D don't be a sissy and, and like you know like shrivel like that because like it was your own fault girl come on come on just cause you <laughs> yeah you know I was I'm not gonna say that because like you know people probably meme me but yeah um yeah and then um like you know he gets talking to her um, he, she's just saying, oh, why are you saying, like, my first name, like, we're not equals, or my last name, like, none no equals, like, that, that, it's, it's rude and all that, and then he's just like, well, you calling me you, why are you, um, is, is a bit rude, don't you think? And then he mentions that he wants to be, like, you know, friends with her, I mean, I like, can't really call you a nickname, a cute little nickname, go away, Facebook. Is it? Yes, yeah, him. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'll be there in a moment. Um, I can't call you a cute little nickname because, like, you know, they don't know each other that well. And, um, yeah, and then uh, Sasatsuki had a little flashback. Um, that she was, like, cleaning up, like, an area of the city. And then, like, this old woman gave her, like, fruit. And then, like, her friends were there. And I suppose that she was, like, closed off from them. And now, um... Um, I suppose it was probably the first time that they were helping her. Like, because, like, you know, like, let's just go for the cliche thing. Like, they see her doing it herself. And then they decided to help out when they obviously found out at the last minute that she was doing something like this. So, yeah, and then that's how I suppose that they became friends. Yeah, she's a lonely character. She, like, she encloses herself when she can't um, open herself up to, to a, an individual unless she knows something about them. And if she doesn't know anything about them, she sees them as a threat. And then they have to be eliminated. A little bit extreme, but I suppose it's just her vetting out her feelings. So yeah, all in all, a really enjoyable episode. It had the feels moment with Sasatsuki. It had its cute moments with Mamaki. And that um, the chibi moments were, like, you know, glorious. Um, and yeah, <laughs> when Sasatsuki fell over, then her patties were just so nice. was like, well now... <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, so yeah, um, all in all, I'm going to give this episode a 8 out of 10. It was very enjoyable. I didn't expect it to go this route. But at the same time, even if it was changed, it was done well. I mean, it's probably some people, like I said, they didn't see the credits. So it probably was dealt in, like I said. But um, if it wasn't, like people were probably going in expecting action. And they probably may not like this episode. But it was all, it was good. I mean, like the the fan service wasn't ex excessive. I mean, we had three panty shots. I mean, and uh, nothing majorly, you know, like with fan service happened. And um, but even though nothing major or exciting happened, the episode was still interesting, at least for myself. So yeah, out of ten. Good day, and see you next week.